The Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact served as an agreement of non-aggression between Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, resulting in the division of Eastern Europe between these two dominant forces. This accord, inked on 23 August in 1939, was signed by Joachim von Ribbentrop, Germany's foreign minister, and Vyacheslav Molotov, the Soviet Union's foreign minister, in Moscow. Its official title, the Treaty of Non-Aggression Between Germany and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, was accompanied by various alternate names like the Hitler-Stalin Pact, Nazi-Soviet Pact, or Nazi-Soviet Alliance. This pact emerged from negotiations originally centered around economic matters between the USSR and Nazi Germany. The Soviets skillfully utilized these economic discussions to attain a political consensus. On August 22, Ribbentrop journeyed to Moscow to finalize the agreement, a concept the Soviets had previously explored with Britain and France. The ratified Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact unveiled the next day, guaranteed peace and contained a commitment that neither government would support or forge alliances with the enemies of the other. Beyond the publicly known clauses of non-aggression, the pact featured a clandestine secret protocol that delineated the spheres of influence that the Soviet Union and Germany would exert over countries such as Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Finland. This protocol also acknowledged Lithuania's interest in the Vilnius region, while Germany disavowed any claims over Bessarabia. The revelation of this secret protocol only came to light during the Nuremberg trials. Shortly after the pact signing, Germany invaded Poland on September 1, 1939. Following suit, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin ordered the Soviet invasion of Poland on September 17, shortly after a Soviet-Japanese ceasefire and the endorsement of the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact by the Supreme Soviet of the Soviet Union. The Soviet invasion of Poland unfolded as a military campaign executed without a formal declaration of war. On September 17, 1939, the Soviet Union launched an eastern invasion of Poland, just 16 days after Nazi Germany's western invasion of the same nation. As the conflict unfolded, several Polish cities, including Dubno, Luck, and Wlodzimesz Walensky, welcomed the Red Army under the assumption that it was advancing to counter the Germans. Responding to this, General Julius Rommel of the Polish Army issued an unauthorized directive to treat them as allies, acting swiftly in anticipation of changing circumstances. The Soviet government justified its intervention as a means to protect Ukrainians and Belarusians living in the eastern sector of Poland, citing the collapse of the Polish state. This narrative mirrored Western perceptions, which coined the term Blitzkrieg to describe Germany's rapid defeat of Poland in a matter of weeks, casting doubt on the Polish government's ability to ensure its citizens' safety. Faced with a dual-front threat, the Polish administration decided that defending the Romanian bridgehead was no longer viable, leading to an urgent evacuation order for all uniformed troops to then neutral Romania. This series of military actions extended for the following 20 days, ultimately culminating on October 6, 1939, with a dual partition and incorporation of the entire Second Polish Republic into the territories of Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union. This division is sometimes referred to as the Fourth Partition of Poland. The Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact Secret Protocol, agreed upon on August 23, 1939, indirectly hinted at the forthcoming Soviet and German interventions in Poland, outlining the division of the country into separate spheres of influence for both powers. This collaborative invasion by Germany and the Soviet Union has been termed co-belligerence. After these invasions, the revised border between the two nations was formalized through the supplementary protocol of the German-Soviet Frontier Treaty. In 1940, the Soviet Union annexed portions of Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and parts of Romania, using purported concern for ethnic Ukrainians and Belarusians as justification for the Polish invasion. Notably, Stalin's annexation of Bukovina went beyond the agreed-upon Soviet sphere of influence, violating the terms of the pact. In the aftermath of World War II, the territories of Poland annexed by the Soviet Union to the east of the Kurzon Line remained within the Soviet Union, forming present-day Ukraine and Belarus. Vilnius was returned to Lithuania, while only certain parts of Galicia and Podlaski east of the San River reverted to Poland. Territories taken from Finland, Western Karelia, Petsamo, Estonia, Estonian Ingria and Petseri County, and Latvia, Abrin, persisted as part of Russia. The areas annexed from Romania were integrated into the Soviet Union, including the Moldavian SSR and Ukrainian SSR regions. The core of Bessarabia is now Moldova, with northern Bessarabia, northern Bukovina, and the Hartsa region constituting Ukraine's Chernivtsi Oblast. Southern Bessarabia lies within Ukraine's Odessa Oblast. The validity of the pact concluded on June 22, 1941, when Germany launched Operation Barbarossa, invading the Soviet Union in pursuit of the ideological concept of Lebensraum, 
meaning living space, it was a basic principle of Nazi foreign policy. Hitler believed that Eastern Europe had to be conquered to create a vast German empire with more physical space, a greater population, and new territory to supply food and raw materials. The Anglo-Soviet agreement followed this. After the war, Ribbentrop faced charges of war crimes in the Nuremberg trials and was executed, while Molotov passed away in 1986.